All right, after that kind of long-winded uh, explanation of uh, the CD media types, we're going to move over to the new standard that's out there for recording. Uh, one of the main storage devices that everybody here on campus has used in one fashion or another is a thumb drive. Uh, again, thumb drive is also known as a flash drive. It's also a USB memory stick. It's also known as a memory stick. It's also known as the thingy or the whatchamacallit that puts its stuff on it. Okay? We've heard it all. It's all there. It's the same thing. It's just different manufacturers producing it. Um, as far as manufacturing is concerned, it's really preference up to you. It's kind of like, what's my budget say today? Um, for me, Wrangler jeans work just fine. Cost, cost less, it's still blue jeans. Levi's, better quality. You spend more for it, but it's still covering me. That's all I need to know. So if you really want to know which one's better than the other one, they all do the same thing. Certain times, certain ones will make a little bit more speed boost to uh, uploading or downloading the data, but all in all, you'll be able to store data on all of them the same way. What really is the preferential difference is how much size you need for a flash drive. Flash drives now, the standard is minimum one gig. And, and with the way the, the technology has changed so dramatically, the pricing has gone down to stupid price. One gig, not more than three years ago, cost me about $85 for a one gig stick. Now, for one gig stick, if I'm not mistaken, I can get you around $9.99 for a single uh, gig stick. And unfortunately, we don't have a single gig stick in stock because everybody's buying those things for $9.99. But there's 2 gig, 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 gig, 32 gig, and the, and the sizes go up from there. The, the larger the size, the more expensive it gets. Also, differences will determine on what the look is. You have, uh, of course, the UC Davis logoed uh, uh, flash drives here, which is made by PNY, very good company. Uh, we have SanDisk, uh, ideal for video. Um, we have Lexar, which comes with the, which is the Firefly, which is the micro. So it's a small compact device you can put right onto your keychain, and it basically doesn't take up a lot of space. Then we have the little bit more durable units from SanDisk, the titanium drives. If you are the most abusive person with your electronics and you seem to break things, get the titanium because it's going to take that foot on top of it like you would normally step on the other ones. So, it's really a preferential uh, device, how much storage you need to, to uh, uh, carry and uh, what the design looks like and how much you want to spend. That really determines what you want to get in a flash drive. As far as hard drives are concerned, portable hard drives are basically thumb drives in large capacity. They hook up via the USB or the firewire. They have the ability to store larger amounts of uh, data without having to retrieve, uh, delete, retrieve, delete, like a flash drive. A flash drive doesn't have an infinite amount of uh, data storage. Where some of these flash drives, uh, or these uh, USB drives here, uh, go anywhere from 160 gig, 500 gig, uh, 1.5 terabit. Um, the sizes, again, determine uh, how much data storage you want. Brands that you can look for, Western Digital, Let's see, uh, two of the major uh, uh, units out there on the market, very good quality, very good brands. Um, Let's see, very good for a Mac user, uh, easy to work, interfaces very well. Uh, Western Digital, very good machines, uh, easy to hook up. Usually the backup data, the uh, storage device will work with any machine without having any extra uh, hardware. Sometimes Western Digital, you might have to get an extra cable for the Max because the Max might not supply enough power to them. But they're available through Western Digital's online uh, store for roughly around $30, $35. Um, that way you can supply the power to these self-powered units. Uh, also here, uh, again, the time capsule, another way to storage your device through wireless means. Only works on an Apple network, but very good technology. Um, all of these devices and all these media types can be found up at our bookstore. Uh, very good prices from day to day. Um, we have very good specials, such as the Lacey Rugged right now. It's $119.99, limited quantity, um, normally $160. Very good unit. has uh, uh, rubber coating around it to protect the casing. Also, it has an ability, if it notices that it's taking a fall, it actually locks itself up and puts itself into kind of like a, a, a lock drive so it doesn't uh, break itself. Now, all this media type can get confusing. You kind of figure out, oh my God, how do I back this stuff up? Well, that's something that you have to learn. If you still are having problems, the best way to do is to get books, such as Max for Dummies, 
and laptops for dummies, which can be located at the bookstore uh, trade uh, floor. Great books have great uh, information on how to back up your data, shows you how to back it up and how often you should back up. Key point though, to remember, if all else fails, back it up. Don't be one of those guys that has all your pictures on one machine and that machine takes a, a fail on you because once you lose it, you lose it. Back it up, keep it there. You don't have to worry about your dissertation being lost on the old hard drive. You've got to back up. It's the way to go. Keep yourself protected. Do it at the bookstore. We have great discounts and we'll be glad to help you out. Well, I hope you liked uh, the webisode today. Uh, if you have any more uh, questions you might have, you can always contact us at computershop.ucdavis.edu and ask us any questions you might have since our uh, webisode 3, even webisode 2 or webisode 1. Any one of those, and you have questions, feel free to give us a uh, holler down on computershop.ucdavis.edu. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to our webisodes or to our emailings, Please contact us at computershop.ucdavis.edu or you can subscribe to our uh, WordPress Tech Talk uh, page at ucdavistechtalk.wordpress.com. If you do that, we will get you specials every once in a while that only you as a subscriber can get. This month's subscriber listing is actually getting a 5% coupon that's being emailed to them for software here on our uh, sales floor. So not only do you normally get a 60% discount on some of our education software, but we're adding an extra 5% to that. So if you're a UC Davis student, staff, faculty member, or education anywhere, and you want to partake in this, please subscribe to our mail listing and we will try to get you some good deals here and there that nobody else will know about. And you will be the winner and everybody else will be the loser. Alright, now this is a contest. If you have been paying attention, like you should have, you probably spotted somebody that you might know from NASCAR. That's right, Jimmy Johnson was in the room. And what I want you to do is to tell me where Jimmy Johnson was standing during part of my uh, presentation. If you can email us at computershop.ucdavis.edu and tell us exactly where you saw Jimmy Johnson, we will put you into the raffle to win, get this, a mobile edge carrying case. This is an $80 bag that we're giving to you for simply telling us, I saw Jimmy Johnson at... And we will go ahead and put you in the hopper to see if you can win. Again, tell me where Jimmy Johnson's at, write it down, send it to me by email at computershop.ucdavis.edu, tell me exactly where you saw Jimmy Johnson and what number Jimmy Johnson is, and you can be in the hopper to win the mobile edge bag. Well, that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, next month, webisode will actually be one of our students who's actually a beta tester for Windows 7. And he's going to go over some of the new features that Windows 7 is coming out and some of the advancements that they're doing over what Windows Vista is. And you'll be able to see the quality that Windows, Microsoft, is putting into its product line. So Mike Kelly, next month, we'll go over that. And hopefully, if you have any questions, you'll be able to answer them on our next webisode. Anyways, that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, any more questions, again, email us. I'll be glad to help you out.